Let's light a spliff and have some fun For 20 plays it has begun <laughs> Those are the best sound effects like Dude, Let's take like all of the Final Destination like deaths <laughs> And like just replace it so oh. <laughs> God <laughs> I gotta admit, um, when I was a kid, um, I was just like uh, perusing the television, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, um, oh, I want to tell you another story, but after that, uh, anyway, mm -hmm. uh, so I was perusing the television and then I, uh, came across Final Destination 1. Oh. And I didn't know what it was about. I was just like, oh, this looks cool. And the main character is Alex Brown. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to say that the actor's name. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> the actor's name is Alex Browning, and, or the character's name is Alex Browning. It's the same as me. Oh, okay. Um, and so I was like, oh, the, the, it's a relatable character. <laughs> And then, uh, it's and He's then, like, die, like and, me. and then all the terrible shit in the movie happens. <laughs> and I was young, so I was like paranoid Aww. about everything now. Because, <laughs> like, anything, there's a scene where he's sitting in like a closet. And there's just things slowly falling into place for something to open some door and literally kill him in like one thing. Oh, great. And it was slowly happening and he wasn't seeing. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what it would be. Like, I don't know, some like, whatever. Anyway, do you know Final Destination? I haven't watched any of the movies. I think I've only seen you, like a couple you, of the death scenes. Like, I, I don't remember which movie it was, but I remember like all of the characters were in like a cafe and then like a truck. Just oh, yeah, that's the, that was the end of the first. No, this one of the second ones. I, I think, think, yeah, second or yeah. third. I'm not sure. So the idea of the game or the game, the idea of the movie is, is basically one guy, one guy and a group of people cheated death somehow. They're supposed <laughs> to die. And now they're being like hunted by death. Oh, okay. Who's just this invisible entity. And so the, you could be anywhere and something will just fucking like kill you. Uh -huh. Right? And usually they're ridiculous. They're like stupid, ridiculous ways. Like, I think in one scene, it was like one of the later movies, <clears throat> this guy was like at a massage therapist or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, he was doing ac their, or acupuncture on him, right? Yeah. The massage therapist had to leave. Things were happening that like made him get, like, I. So I think uh, the room, something in the room was set on fire. Mm. So he had to get up, but he was covered in acupuncture needles. <laughs> he, he manages to slowly get up. He ma takes a step on the floor and he slips and like the needles <laughs> right into him. And he's in pain, like he's knocking over shelves. And then this big Buddha statue just crushes his head. <laughs> and as it crushes it, it's just like, <laughs> like as if the thing was like 50 tons, you know? It's like the, it's stupid. Um, it's like the scene from Hot Fuzz where the, the bit of the fucking church falls on the one guy. Yeah, 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 like that. <laughs> it was just so, uh, it was just so cartoonish, yeah. And, and there's even like a bliss batter on the camera. It was oh. ridiculous. Oh, that's cool though. That's yeah, a cool yeah. effect. The, but like the movie is... I like when movies do that where like the camera gets affected by something that yeah, happens yeah, in yeah. the scene. I think that's I think sometimes it's just like they, they did it by accident uh -huh. or like something did get caught on the camera, like yeah. water or something, but then they just kept that mm -hmm. thinking oh that's gonna be cool yeah no because because it, it is like it, it, it it's immersive uh, it's immersive and like more so than like i don't know what do you think of like 3d movies and stuff well like i'm the, working on them yeah i know but like <laughs> but like uh, uh, god i, I want to ask you about that off camera but um, um you wouldn't be able to tell me but uh <laughs> i wouldn't tell no I yeah can't. exactly but um but like what do you think of it like in general just as a, a thing uh 3d is a gimmick yeah um but it can have there, there's something with 3D that I just know you like you could do something cool with. Mm -hmm. um, that's it's entirely up to the director because they have to like almost direct the movie to really make use of that 3D. Mm -hmm. Now I saw Thor Ragnarok yesterday, and I was wow. You, <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Man, now get the sun. That's out of your fucking. Going back. Can, to I, the can I fucking have it, please? Going Thank back you. to space. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like. 3D, like, it's a gimmick. And movies that usually use 3D, there's a lot of areas where they really didn't have to. The yep. majority of the movie doesn't need 3D, yeah. but there are some really cool segments that 3D just like, whoa, that's sick, mm -hmm. right? Even in some of the earlier 3D movies, like Spy Kids 3D oh, and Spike shit. Oh, Spy Kids was fucking dope this, with the 3D. Like, but, like, it's, they, they try to do things that would make use of 3D. And I look at the back, and it's really, well, the, the CGI is just awful. Mm -hmm. So, it, <laughs> but, like, the, the way they used 3D was, at the time, was just like, whoa! Yeah. Right? Like, you had, like, a, a big bouncy thing that would just jump in front of you. Like, yeah. repeat, or it was a frog or something. I can't or remember like, what it was. Or, like, a bunch of, like, goop is, like, floating in the air, and you're just like, oh, oh I can touch oh, it. Oh, I can touch it. Yeah. Oh, it's in my face. Oh. Yeah. Like, was, the stuff that 
that makes you react like that, if that can be used as part of the experience mm -hmm. instead of just like the gimmick, mm -hmm. then yeah, it's awesome. Um, but otherwise, like 3D, like to me, I, I'm being honest here, 3D is a, is a gimmick. Yeah. Um, I like, just think that you keep working on it and like you actually like direct stuff to 3D, it can work out really well. Yeah, because like um, when I, I went to see like uh, uh, The Force Awakens in 3D, like the first time I saw it, and I'm just like, this movie doesn't need it. Like, I mean, like everything looks cool. The space scenes, I bet, would have yeah, been cool like, in 3D. Yeah, but like even those were like in that movie, there weren't too many of them, so yeah, it wasn't yeah. a big deal. Rogue One, it was neat. Yeah, but like space. Yeah, so that part was cool, but like. All of, all of the other action scenes, it's just like, there's simple shit like you could do with it. Like the fight between like uh, Kylo and, um, and Rey at the end of the movie. Spoilers, but it's a fucking two-year-old movie and fucking Last Jedi is about to come out. Go watch it, you dumb bitch. It's Star um, Wars. You should see it. Exactly. You know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like that fight at the end, like it, it's in like this like snowy fucking place. And you think like, oh, maybe you, you could just have like the snow like in front of the camera, like be 3D. And it's like, it's not. Yeah. Like, it, it's blowing all over the place. So, and it's just... I think I know why. It, it, it's just the idea that, like, stuff like that is usually, like, a visual effects, right? Mm -hmm. uh, visual effects doing a 3D could be kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know too much about that because I never had to delve in that, but, like, yeah. um, 3D is just... It's, it's kind of like... Uh, we're we're just post process. We're we're the post production. Mm -hmm. You know the movie's already been done. Oh, fuck. Uh, now we just have to like make a 3D version of it. That's essentially mm -hmm. what you do. Oh, ah. you missed it. You fucked up. Yes, I did. You fucked up, Chris. <laughs> go 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 eat those whatever the fuck they are onions. I don't know what they are. It's the little um uh, the fuckers from Mario World or whatever. Yeah, Super Mario World. But yeah. they're supposed to shoot fire at you. Oh, they don't. They just kind of jump at oh. you and be like. <laughs> You did it. You got the car. Yeah, yeah. That's how oh. you do these. It's just like you cheese them by being like super far away and just like cleaning off the thing, going ha ha. <laughs> we go ride that uh, water wheel. Woohoo! I gotta admit, uh, it's always great Yippee. to see like in a Mario platform. They're 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 trying to make like at least in Odyssey, we're always in like some like new place, but mm -hmm. and that just gives way to more platforming segments and stuff. Yeah. Here, I like the idea that they didn't go way too crazy, except in the fucking segments where you know. You have to, yeah. But like they they sort of kept to the theme of the island, you know. Mm -hmm. They didn't make like oh here's a snow part of the island or oh here's a, well wait did they? No 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 no. no, no, no. Here's a here's a desert plane of the island. Here's a full here you can go in this volcano. Like they didn't do like a fire. I'm assuming they do later. Yeah, because yeah, Bowser, do. yeah. Because yeah, Boozer. kind of a thing, yeah. Because Boozer. Mm -hmm. They should take uh, Boo and Bowser and put together and make Boozer. They did that in Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> um, oh, Boozer, that's right. Oh my gosh, Chris. Yeah, you remember? That's right. Yeah, the episode that it. no one will ever see, yeah. <laughs> 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 that was such a fucking bullshit thing. Okay, so we played through the entire game without a save, like uh, as as we said in those playthroughs, because uh, we're playing off a fucking a Wii that can't run discs anymore, because it's just it's too old. Um, so uh, because it's an emulator, it can't save. So we left the Wii on overnight and we came back and played the game the next day. I didn't die throughout the whole game until the final boss battle. So that means canonically, in our playthrough, Luigi dies. Luigi's dead as yeah, fuck. Yeah, he's dead as fuck. He never saved Mario because he's a useless piece of shit. <laughs> Lu Luigi is, is possessed. Mm -hmm. he, he's that possession pick, I yeah. remember. He captures all the fucking boos, but King Boo bests him. Yeah, so King that's, Boo. Yeah. yeah, so that's the, that's the bad timeline. So, and oops. then E Gag goes and does the job himself, I guess. Yeah. And, and then... I figure, like, I figure Luigi's Mansion happens before Mario Sunshine, or at least that's the way I think of it. So, um, but then so, Mario so never that means gets saved. that the um, the Splatoon timeline is to take place. So technically, but we're then... in an alternate timeline right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mario Mario never got saved uh, mm -hmm. in Luigi's Mansion. He was just stuck in a painting forever. Yep. Uh, and he just dies of starvation, I guess. <laughs> that, that's how Mario dies. Or, or no, he just lives there for eternity, and that's the and that's his I, life. So he's technically dead, but not well, really. Well, there, there, there's food in the in the in the Mario. He universe. doesn't need to like if he's being like held in a painting. He doesn't need like food to live. How do you think like in Mario 64? How do you think all those things survive? 
Uh, oh, they're just kind of there, right? Like they're, they're like um in. But, but Mario, even in this, was like so excited to eat like fish. Oh yeah. And 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 and, and he eats mushrooms. And... Oh no, I'm not saying like canonically he doesn't eat. I'm saying that like. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the biggest fucking game theory ever. <laughs> um, this, this is this is what the show's for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> shit. <laughs> What I'm saying is that in Babam Battlefield, when you go there, there's the King Babam at the top of the thing that you you, you kill him, and yeah. then he becomes this uh, a fucking dud bomb that just rolls around at the bottom of the mountain. But the Babams are still fighting to take control of the mountain, and they're perpetually doing that because that's what they're you know that's what that's the their painting prime directive. Was. Yeah, it's their prime directive, but it's like <laughs> that's what they were painted doing is the, like taking over that mountain or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> can you do a game theory video of that, Chris? Yes, I can. Here, I'll edit the whole thing right now. <laughs> 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 Hello, internet. Welcome. <laughs> but that's just a theory. Oh, <laughs> theory. Thanks. Matt Pat, where's our money? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my> god. <laughs> we kind of relentlessly shit on him now. I think that's that's the new meme. I I, I feel bad. I, so do I'm I. I'm sure he means like listen. People have been shitting on Matt Pat for a while now. Yeah. Ever since his Undertale. Ever since that, but like oh. too, I didn't I didn't mind that theory. I didn't think it was true, but I also didn't mind it. Right? I I don't know. I didn't see anything really wrong with it. I think what people mostly sorry, like, sorry I was I was I was typing I was texting my oh, okay. boss sorry for that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, no, but uh, I'm sorry, Chris. That was okay. very rude. <laughs> it's okay. It's just your boss for actual work that pays. <laughs> what the fuck? Do the thing. God. All right. Yeah, here we fart go. out your thing. Oh. There we go. All right. Sorry, I, as you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> Well, now I know. Oh, oh, yeah, Matt Pat. Okay, so I was saying, like, uh, the Undertale thing, I didn't really mind that, but I think, like, the, the thing that pisses me off more is that, like, he starts doing, like, videos on, like, Frozen and stuff, right? Yeah. Where, like, he's catering to, like, the lowest common denominator of people, where it's, like, clearly, like, this video is for six year olds. Like, he's explaining everything in the plot, like, the kid has never watched it or can't comprehend, like, basic things. And then he's like, so, and then, like, it just, the theory is, like, solved in the first two minutes of it. You just need, like, an and now active to, brain yeah. to work. And now he has to just, like, like, basically fill in the rest of that shit. That's, yeah. that's when, uh, I was watching a guy that was, like, really, uh, he was frustrated with, um, how the channel is now. Mm -hmm. Like, he's saying how, like, you know, they used to be, like, they used a lot more, like, math and actual stuff that type of shit mm -hmm. and also they weren't like 50 minutes like in total they were like varying lengths or something like that i, I can't remember the yeah i was in any case like i still kind of st i'll still watch game theory it's, it's whatever mm -hmm. so it must be really hard to get that because of that fucking thing in the way uh, it was um, just because i had the fucking rocket nozzle but. yeah i don't know um i i i was kind of like i the the undertale theory he released mm -hmm. it's like not like i i i thought it was a fun headcanon, right? Yeah. But I didn't take it so seriously like most people do. Yeah, everyone was like, thinking, no, you're wrong! It's like, well, Look, duh. <laughs> he got in and make a fucking brony like, game theory. He's not watching the fucking My Little Pony movie right now and making a, a film theory about that yeah. shit. So he's probably doing right? a fucking Doki Doki theory. Oh, he better. Yeah. Because that shit's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and it's fucking garbage. And he has so much, like... From the shit I looked for, there's so much content he can use. And he used none of it. No, right? but, um, the thing... Like, even I'm, like, I like to think of, like, okay, by the time this episode comes out, we're done with fucking uh, Doki Doki, so, yeah, like, yeah. so, whatever, go watch that if yeah. you have it. But, um, Otherwise, we're gonna spoil it right now. Yeah, exactly. Go. But, like, a lot of the stuff with Natsuki and, like, in terms of, like, her being, like, abused and shit, like, that is, it, there's plenty of room for theory, and, like, all the theories I've seen don't feel right, but, like... There's also no evidence to say that they're wrong, so it's so that's like an interesting side of it where it's like, how is he gonna go about this or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, like a thing that people were talking about was like, oh, like why is she malnourished or whatever? Maybe it's because her dad only feeds her certain things to keep her small stature. And I'm like, no. What if she's just poor and that's why she's looking for money under the fucking vending machines? 
you know, because her dad doesn't give her money and she's poor and she has to eat food whenever her dad cooks because that's the only time she gets food well, is the, because he doesn't cook often or whatever and they don't have money. The game that makes the much game, more sense. The game implies that she's malnourished, though. Like, yes, it says it, that. It does, but it's not like it doesn't outright say why, but they act like it's an like it's an, a conscious decision of the dad or something, which doesn't. Like, he wants her to be malnourished? That uh, like, he wants her, uh, like, they're saying, like, oh, it's to keep her cute or whatever. Like, to keep her, like, small stature. I want a cat. Yeah. Uh, but it's I want to like, be a big buff girl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> buff Suki is be buff his Suki. best wife. <laughs> yeah. Fan art, please. Uh, oh, buff no, Suki. there's plenty. Haven't you seen it? No. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, I guess we'll show you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll fat too. It'll be great. Like, yeah, it's awesome. Anyway. Buff Suki. <laughs> Oh man, that's uh, funny. But yeah, like um, make uh, make Doki Doki, but they're all buff, like super fucking buff, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> make them all super buff. Yeah. Sayori just like hanging out, mm. all buff. <laughs> <laughs> but she'd yeah, break like the neck with her. She'd break the noose with her neck, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <fun. Anyway. laughs> sorry, sorry. The, the, the thing I think with Matt Pat, like another thing that people really shit on is that like, um, I think he's done theories on games where he changes the canon or like he changes the, the accepted canon because uh, of his videos. But I don't know what game that people are trying to relate that to. If it's like Mario or something, I'll tell you to go fuck yourself because it's like, oh, Rosalina is fucking Luigi's daughter. It's like, well, it's... It's in the game. Like I thought that before, um, before Matt Pat even made a fucking video about that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. Like I put together those pieces before he did that. So for everyone to be like, oh, you, you changed the canon. You, like that's not right. It's like, well, it's there. It's and a, if it's there in another and uh, other versions of the game that aren't English, then it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's canon. It just pisses me off that like he, he's every at the end of every episode. Mm -hmm. It's just a theory. A film or a game theory, yeah. but people are just ignoring that. Mm -hmm. They're like taking it so fucking far. <laughs> and yes, it's annoying. And like he's saying these theories, but like it, it's it's a theory. It, mm -hmm. Like you can't take it like take it with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> so like, if people are gonna get mad over a theory, like it goes against your particular headcans, so or you mm -hmm. just disagree with it, like don't fucking you know shit yourself. Yeah. And then blame it on him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like the, the final, the final thing that I think people really shit on him for is because he makes so much fucking money off of those of those uh, videos. Yeah, he's now he's yeah. like a multi-millionaire because of them, and I think that's what got people upset. Because like, even with Game Grumps, like people are overly shitting on them too. It's like. I will admit, they have money now. Yeah, it's like, but they've had money for ages. But I know, like, for a fact, as soon as they released that Office Tour video, everyone was like, oh, sellouts. It's like, no, they just have money. No, they've like, had this, this office this, for ages. That, they just finished renovations. I, when I saw that video, I saw it as like, this is what we've done for them. <laughs> we helped them get to this point where they have an awesome office. Yeah. Right? And they're not crammed in a fucking room. Like mm -hmm. they used to be. Yeah, in right? fucking Aaron's house or yeah, whatever. Aaron, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, you've all given them jobs, and this is how well they're doing because mm -hmm. of you. But then people see that. It's like, oh, they have money. That means they are sellouts. Yeah. It's like once you figure out how much money someone makes, it's like all of a sudden you can't care about it. Like, what's this hipstery bullshit? Mm -hmm. You know what? I don't know. It's dumb. Yeah. This isn't funny. This is just rant city <laughs> Yeah, right it really is. Uh, but, sorry. It's just like... It, it all stemmed from like, our game theory bit. <laughs> like, like, fucking... Oh. Support, oh, yeah, your, so support I, your fave YouTubers. <laughs> Even if they're doing super well, that just means they're gonna... Yeah, it just means they're doing well. Like, yeah, they're whatever. doing well, and, like, you know, keep supporting them, helping them out. <laughs>